can make it clear. So it didn't speak on a stage with a bullhorn. <laughs>
is what makes bread rise. With symbolic for sin. Because pride pops up. But when we actually look at the bread, the bread that we're holding has no leaven in it. It had to be pressed. And Jesus was pressed. He scourged even the box of bread has stripes on it. By his stripes we can be healed. Amen. The Jesus Christ committed no sin. No sin at all. And for 33 and a half years on this earth, he committed no sin to die for people that would have sinned and sinned. Jesus, because he took on flesh, walked across this earth. The temptations that he faced were real. The trials and tribulations that he faced was real. He did all of that for you and for me. And so if we hold the bread together in our hands, may we be grateful for the bread and the body of Jesus. Symbolically, this bread teaches us that Jesus came in human flesh. But Jesus says, I'm the bread of life, and he who eats of me will never die. We believe in faith and trust. What we're saying is, Jesus, you are our bread. You are our daily bread. And we thank you that you are our provision for salvation. So we eat in remembrance of Jesus. Eat, my brothers and sisters. I'll just go back in a second here. This will allow you to get to the Jesus of God. There's enough power to love Jesus to wash away the sin of the world. The Bible teaches very clearly in Ephesians chapter 1 without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. The Old Testament was just teaching that this animal sacrifice was just a foreshadowing of Jesus being the Lamb of God. But Jesus in his blood shed upon the cross of Calvary washes away all of our sin, not our good deeds, not our baptisms. It's the blood of Jesus that washes away our sin. I, I, I know it sounds crazy, that for real, we're, 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 we're saying that the blood of Jesus washed away our sins, but it, it's a... The beautiful reality that Jesus takes our place. He, he becomes sin. He who knew no sin became the righteousness of God. For you and for me to be called sons and daughters. And because of Jesus and his willingness to shed blood and die, we hold cuts tonight. And I encourage all of us to hold them up real tall. Amen. This is our tradition for those of you that are new to CBC. Let me explain our tradition. I know what you're thinking. You're like, are we making a toast to Jesus? Is that what we're doing? But what we are saying to Jesus is thank you for your blood. Thank you that I do not drink as a slave unto sin, but forgiven and free. Thank you, Jesus, that I'm a son or a daughter, a part of your family. There's nothing I can ever do to get kicked out of your family. And because of that, I drink, not in shame, not in guilt, but as a son, a daughter, a kid of the king. So I drink in victory, not defeat. I, I, I drink in the reality that my Jesus is a conqueror and he makes me a conqueror through Jesus Christ. And so tonight we drink in honor and thanksgiving to him. Drink, brothers and sisters.
to him I owe. Sin has left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow.